Okay, so I'm going to show how to replace the screen on an iPhone 6 Plus. So you're going to need a Pentalobe 0 0.8 screwdriver and a Phillips. Uh, this is a 1.3, or that's what it says, but if you buy like a screen that comes with it, you'll, you'll already have this. So. Okay, so first you take the two screws from the bottom here. So I removed those already. And then make sure to keep all the screws in order because they're all different sizes and shapes. So after you get that, you can use either a suction cup. I prefer to use this, uh, like a small pry tool. So what you do is you just get between the screen and the frame, and then you just pull it up, and then you just go around the screen. So once you go all the way around, you'll get like a slight gap here. Do that on both sides, all the way. Okay. Just like that. to do this so like this okay so hold the gap open with your fingernail or another tool and then just go all the way around once you get that up you can open the screen up 90 degrees keep it open like this make sure to hold it because if you drop it you can damage the cables here once you got that open then you first want to disconnect the battery so there's the one here right here so take the two screws out of this again remember to keep them in order get the right screwdriver make sure you get the right screwdriver if you if you happen to strip one of the screw um, the screws a little if your screwdriver is the wrong size stop immediately and make sure to get the right screwdriver um, if you want to be safe, you can try like taking other screws out first, like these ones, just to make sure your screwdriver is the right size. And then once you do that, then you can start working on the rest. So after you get that, remove the metal plate. Just get like your nail underneath or a little pry tool. And take that out. Once you get that out, there's this little connector here. You want to pry that up. Make sure your phone, you can turn off your phone first, but if you do this, it'll just shut off for you. So pry this connector up. Once so you got that, the battery's disconnected. Hold the power button a few seconds just to make sure all the power is drained out of it. Okay. Once you got that, there's five screws holding in the connectors for the screen. Let me see if I can zoom in and make it easier to see. So you got five screws holding this in. You got one here. One here. Make sure to keep them in order. That one. This one. This one. Okay, remove the metal plate. Then you got, I believe, three connectors under here. So there's one here. So just again with the pry tool or your nail, lift that up. Then you got this one here. Remove that one. And you got this one here. There you go. And actually, this the plus has four connectors, so there's this other one here as well. Get your fingernail under there. There you go. So once you get all of that, you can set your phone aside. Um, you'll want to remove all the screws from the side. So there's three screws on the side here. Three screws on the side here. Then also remove these screws. There's two here. Um, notice that this panel goes on top of the, the metal piece under here. And then you want to remove all the screws up here. There's four screws up here as well. One, two, three, four. Okay, so remove all of those. Make sure to keep them in order. So 
Now this one underneath the camera there's the speaker so you can take the speaker out the speaker comes out separately from the rest of it just remove that set it aside Again, very important, make sure to keep all the screws uh, in order so you know which one went where. Usually I like to just set them on a table or a magnetic, um, I created a little magnetic box so that way all my screws can stay together. So use something like that or just make sure to keep it on a table that no one's going to bump it and then I'm sure people are going to comment about my nails. <laughs> the black stuff is actually spray paint. Um, I was painting um, a mud flap for have an electric unicycle. Um, I have some videos up of that if you wanted to see. Um, and then, yeah, I keep them long because I need it to pry stuff open. So, <laughs> Alright, uh, make sure you get all the screws out. one all right once you got all of that out there's a little connector here holding the um, home button just pry that up to get this out you want to use a little heat so that it comes out cleanly um, I also like to use a needle just to get underneath the part so heat it um, just enough to get it warm so you can use a heat gun, you can use a hair dryer, um, just make sure not to heat it too hot that it, it can melt. So usually what I like to do is I'll keep my finger there just so I can feel how warm it's getting. And if my finger starts burning then it's probably warm enough already. So just heat it up. do that I like to lift it up sometimes it'll oops, it came up by itself actually when I pulled on it sometimes it'll come up by itself sometimes you gotta like reach under and pull that up okay so set that aside and then you can take this oops, let me zoom out you can take the metal plate off now so make sure you get the cable out without getting it caught on something so you don't damage it Oh, oh, it's this one. Oh, the 6 Plus model, they actually glue this piece in as well. So you're going to want to heat that and then get that out. Sorry. The 6S, the 6S line, they have it as part of the piece. So. Get that up. Okay. Then you can use a little tool to go underneath. sure to be careful with these you don't want to break these connectors okay so once you get once you get underneath you'll see it comes up like that and you can remove this plate just like that so remove that plate this connector is underneath so just slide it out okay set that aside as well and then the top here, um, it's also, sometimes this piece will get caught. So usually I'll use like a needle and then just go around it as well to pull it out. Uh, this has the light sensor and the, the um, uh, what's that called, proximity sensor. So if you get close to it while you're in a call, the phone screen will shut off so you don't accidentally turn it off or something or hang up with your face. And then... Then there's the microphone here. So this one you want to use some heat because the microphone's held in place with an adhesive. Um, you could also um, pry up this piece 
because the adhesive goes all the way across this rubber piece that holds the speaker in place and that way um, you can easily peel and separate the microphone so usually I would do that pull up this rubber piece it's kind of hard to see on camera let me zoom in so you can rub pull up this rubber piece like that there you go and just take that whole piece off and then you can set this aside recycle it or toss the old screen that's that's all the pieces you should need so to remove this the microphone you usually just oh this one actually came with the speaker grill <laughs> stuck to it so usually what I would do is kind of like fold it and then you can see it's like peeling so if you want you can heat it to make it easier okay. and once it's warm just peel it like that and peel this this should peel off easily so the replacement screen will have an adhesive for this so you'll just stick this to the new screen so now you just do it in reverse order with the new screen So grab your new screen remove all the extra adhesive pieces so these are just to kind of keep it protected a little bit so take that all out take this off And the screen, the microphone hole, will have a little protective thing for the adhesive, so peel that off. Peel that off, just like that. Oh, make sure the, the rubber piece for the speaker stays in place. Oh, is it being tough? Let me do it off camera. Yeah, so just peel that off. Okay. Once you got that, usually I'll line up the microphone first. The microphone will have like a little hole that goes actually into this into this little notch, that little thing sticking up. So just make sure to line that up. Let's see if I can do it on camera. So just line that up like that. kind of tough to do it all on camera okay so line it up just like that make sure this microphone lines up with the edge of this there you go and then this one this connector will be folded over like that and then there's this one they'll go into these two little grooves there so just put those back into those grooves So when they're in there, you'll know because it won't really move around much. So after that, take the speaker, put it back in. Okay. Make sure those things stay in the groove. It's tough to do while the camera's in my way. Yep, so make sure those are in the grooves and then keep holding everything down get the camera in place and then put this on make sure the little plastic bits that stick up are going through these holes okay then you want to take the metal piece and put it back on top the metal piece also has these little holes so make sure the plastic goes through like that and then just put the screws back in okay. this part can be a little tough 
you, it's easier if you have like a magnetic tip to help you guide the screws. screws back in so usually for the screws I would like to turn them um, backwards a little bit first just to make sure they go in the in the, um, the screw hole properly it didn't line up right so just make sure everything is lining up properly okay sorry it's hard to tell what I'm recording Sorry about that, someone called and then it made my phone hang up. So yeah, after you finish putting those three screws in, again, make sure the plastic things align. Then you wanna put this down. So if you remember, this one was underneath. Actually, no. Oh shoot. Sorry about that, someone called and then it made my phone hang up. But anyways, so you wanna, after you get the three screws in, Make sure those plastic bits align. Then you want to put this piece back. Just line up the holes on the sides. Make sure it just falls into place. Don't put too much force if it's having problems. Okay. All right. And you just want to put all the screws back in. On the, usually I'll put the side screws and then the, the top one first because this one you need to put the home button in. So do that. I'm going to do this off camera. It's kind of a pain doing it in the camera. Okay. Make sure this goes above the little notch here. And then just push that down in place. Continue putting all the screws in. Usually for these screws, I like to leave them a little bit loose just so you can make sure it's all aligned and then tighten them all up afterwards. See, like right now, if it's not in aligned properly, then you can't put those screws in. So leave it a little bit loose just so you can move it around. Just like that. Can fast forward a bit if you want. All I'm doing is putting the screws back. Okay. Okay. Yep. 
So make sure all these screws are, after that, make sure all the screws are tightened again. Then you want to put the little home button back in place. Make sure the little plastic things align with this connector, with the board, the little circuit here. Once you get that, just line this up and push it down. You should hear, feel it click. You can test by pulling on it lightly, see if it doesn't come out, and then just make sure, put it back down. <coughs> then you can put this back. These pieces. Okay. Don't forget the screw up here. Okay, the top of the screen. Alright. So, same with the other ones. <coughs> I like to put the screw in like part way just so it's there holding it and then you can make sure it's aligned and put the other screw and then tighten them all up. Yeah, this one has a little plastic notch that helps make sure it's uh, in place. Alright, get all that tightened up. And then you just gotta connect this into the phone. <clears throat> oh, make sure this metal piece is above this, not underneath this piece, so it can move around. But yeah, just make sure it's above that piece, okay? And then you just snap the screen all back in place, all the connectors. Make sure it's lined up. You can check by kind of wiggling it around, see if it if it's in aligned, it won't wiggle much. Let's see. And then after that you just push it down. Just do all the connectors. A little tricky. Okay. Make sure I'm putting the right one. Oh, this one goes underneath. Make sure that the one for the metal plate goes underneath because it's actually a larger connector, this one, and then this one's smaller. So the camera assembly connector will go on top. Okay. Let me make sure. Okay, just make sure, get all these connectors in, there you go, Oops, sorry, it's so much easier to do this when I don't have to make sure that you can see, okay, there you go, just make sure all of those connectors are in. And then last one, connect the battery. Okay. 
and then make sure it turns on there you go it's working before I put back all the screws and the metal plates covering the connectors I like to test it <coughs> so <coughs> usually test the front camera the ear speaker and then um, the little sensor inside so make sure when you make a call and you cover it that the thing will um, the screen will go off so let me test those <coughs> Alright, so you see it's on, check the camera, so that camera's fine, but we didn't change that, so check the front camera, oh, no, I don't want a panorama, front camera, there we go, so front camera works, alright, <laughs> and gotta check the, well, let me make a call and then test the other thing. What's a number I can call with that? Well, I guess I can just call anything. Okay, I'll just, I guess I'll just make it call the voicemail or something. Oh, I can't, no. Um, let's see. Okay, it's gonna make my phone hang up, but I'm gonna, oops, I mean stop recording. But just to test it, oh, airplane mode, okay, make sure airplane mode isn't on, and then test it, okay, hmm, that sensor's not working, I think this one, the sensor was broken, oh, actually it didn't call, they don't have a working SIM card. <clears throat> so that I guess they'll have to test when they get a SIM card in there. But yeah, just make a call, cover that, and the screen should go off. Okay, and then now that we know those are working, usually you'll want to also listen to the speaker. But since there's no SIM card, I can't do that. Okay, and that's pretty much it. Just put back the metal plates, and you're good to go. So... Usually for this one, I like to put the bottom corner screw first. It'll help hold it in place. Okay. Let me do that. Oops. Turn off the screen. Okay. So put one of the bottom screws first. Don't tighten it all the way. And put the other screw in. Oops. Once you got the two bottom screws in, you can tighten those. Okay. And just finish up with all the rest of the screws. Back the battery cover screw. <laughs> the little covers help make sure that if you were to drop the phone or anything that those little connectors won't just pop out. So it's important. I've seen some places people will bring their phones in and then it'll be missing all of those things. 
so just make sure to put those back. Again, don't tighten all the way. There you go. I like to also twist the screw backwards first to make sure it goes in properly. You'll hear it click. So once you get all the screws in, what you want to do is make sure the top goes in first because the top has these little um, latches there that go underneath the metal frame. So make sure to put that in first. Once you get that in, you can push the sides down. Don't put too much pressure if it's stuck. Uh, make sure to check the alignment, otherwise you might crack the glass trying to push it down. So like this one, it's getting stuck a little bit. The plastic is actually hitting there. Um, so make sure to check. See, this one's a little bit out of alignment. So make sure to check those. And then once you get all of that back together, you just put the last two screws on the bottom. Let me do that. I think this guy, his metal frame was a little bit broken, so I have to kind of do it kind of a weird way. So sometimes if the front here is getting stuck, I kind of hold the middle out a little bit. So that way it can flex, and then you just get it like that. There you go. And then just put the last two screws in. Remember, those last two screws use different uh, a different screwdriver. So just get those and put those last two screws in. You get those last two screws in, you're good to go. All right. There you see, a new working screen. All right.